Some tide looking to get back into the wind column tomorrow when they take on South Carolina. And those players better get to sleep early and get a good night's sleep because it's an early kickoff <laughs> 11 a.m. early enough for some businesses to modify their opening time a bit. Your reporter in Tuscaloosa, Brian Henry, joins us live after talking with business owners and fans. Brian, what can you tell us? Well, Janet, Sarah, we'll take the sushi diner that you see behind me as an example. It would typically open up every day at 11, including game days. But since kickoff tomorrow is at 11, the owner says he'll wait until 1 o'clock to open up. Staff ready to take care of the people. It was a no-brainer for Thai basil owner Ned Megampom to lay his opening time Saturday to 1 p.m. long after kickoff. So since the game starts at 11, most people will be at the stadium and you know, tailgating, so we might push it back. Instead of we open at 11, we open at 1 p.m. Um, I don't think it'll make a dent in the crowd. That Christina Helveston had other ideas. Keep her 9 a.m. opening time the same because she has a different game plan for the Mediterranean Sandwich Company. We do, we do a breakfast menu instead of our normal menu. Um, we've been promoting that we're going to have a live band and stuff, so we're hoping that generates a larger crowd than normal. Thousands are in town for the Alabama-South Carolina game. Folks like Russ Lloyd of Somerville, South Carolina. Even though the Tide hit a brick wall last week with his loss against Vanderbilt, Lloyd was blunt about Carolina's chances of upsetting the Tide. He's not counting them. Well, unfortunately, I think it's a bad time because, you know, I think they're going to be really angry after that loss to Vanderbilt. So we're hoping, you know, we're hoping to look a whole lot better than we did against Ole Miss. We think we're a better football team than we showed last Saturday. And, uh, you know, we're hoping for the best, but... Maybe not expecting it. How about that? An angry Alabama early kickoff, diners calling an audible to better serve their customers. I think the game's going to be over like 2.30 to 3. People might be, people have a chance to be more hungry than the late night. Looking for a win on the field and at the cash register. Matt Megan Palm says when Alabama played Georgia here about three weeks ago here at home, he said he had the best weekend in terms of business in 10 years. Your reporter in Tuscaloosa, Brian Henry, WBRC 6 News, on your side.